I'm Hunter, and today we've got a little treat for you. Uh, you may have seen it during FnordCon if you checked out our digital con this past weekend, but we have a new edition of Munchkin coming out. Uh, this is Munchkins and Mazes. Uh, this version of Munchkin features a, a parody of RPG elements, not just the RPGs themselves, uh, like original Munchkin, but of kind of the culture that's developed around role-playing games, like streaming culture, uh, things of that nature. So this is a brand new game, has a lot of new cards and stuff, and art by Laura D'Souza. Uh, we're going to dive into it, unbox it, show you what it's like. It's coming out real soon. This is actually going to be a, I believe it's a November release. It'll be twenty four ninety five when it comes out. Uh, Pre-order should be going up next week. Uh, we'll have a link to the product page down in the comments below. Uh, but I think that's enough uh, preamble. Let's just dive into it. So I actually have a sharp object here. Thank you, Brandon. There we go. Crack in there, nice. And uh, once I get this uh, this off, I'll show you guys the box as well, because you can kind of get a preview of all the art and what it looks like. So we'll go with the overhead there. So that's what the front of the box looks like. I'll flip it over, show you guys the back here. There you go. Cool, and we'll go ahead and dive in. Okay, this is a core size box, so as you can tell, it's kind of—it's not a deluxe size, so it doesn't have a board and stuff. Uh, but like all the other regular core size versions, we do have a die in here, which I'll show you in a sec. Here we've got the rule set. If you've never played Munchkin before, obviously very similar here. Maybe a few unique mechanics. We'll, we'll go through the cards and see what we find. Uh, but got a lot of great Larda Souza art. Here's the die. We'll try to get that a little closer. Nice. I love the. Everyone loves the Munchkin dice. So there are people out there that just collect our dice, uh, and this one looks great. It's like kind of a navy blue with a dark crimson red. Love that. And then we got all these cards, just stacks and stacks. Really thick stacks. I believe we're looking at 168 cards as a core set. Let me uh, cut these guys open. We're calling this the official unboxing knife now. Uh, so hopefully I won't have to scramble for a sharp object anymore. <laughs> we'll see. I'll figure out how to close that in a second. Official unboxing knife is going to stay open dangerously next to me. Okay, and I'll separate these by type. So, got those there. Those. And some more of these. So, these are the door cards, and it looks like these should all be treasure cards. Well, maybe they'll all be treasure cards. There were some treasures mixed in with the doors. Yep, there are some doors in the back here, too. Uh, boom. Throw those on the end there. So there are our doors, and here are our treasures. Wow. Uh, let's see. What do we want to go through first? Let's take a look at the treasure cards. Uh, so again, these are th this is going to be based on classic RPG elements, so if you like stuff like um, our original Munchkin or Munchkin Legends, this is probably going to be a really good mix and set for that. Uh, power Word Moist. I hate that. Uh, use, it, use it in any combat, plus 5 to either side. Use it only once. Yeah, that should be a plus 5. No one likes the word moist. Uh, secret Compartment. Oh, that's cool. If you draw this face up, immediately draw... Three more face-up treasures. Oh, this is similar to another card in the uh, in the original Munchkin. I want to say uh, you may play at any time. Okay, cool. So yeah, it's a, kind of a draw extra treasure card. Spontaneous rewrite. <laughs> uh, used during any combat. One monster value. Uh, wait, was it one one monster? Sorry, that card, I, I can't read. Vanishes. There we go, leaving the treasure behind. Ring of Recycling. This is, this is cute. Uh, we actually, so, if you don't know Munchkin lore, I guess, uh, there are usually rings in each uh, game, like wishing rings, things like that. So this is, this is a really cool way of doing that. Uh, another ring effect, but something a little unique. Plus it's worth a thousand gold, which, again, if, you're, if you play Munchkin, thousand gold, that's a level if you want to sell it. Uh, amulet of selling out. 
uh, you may count this as 100 gold pieces uh, whenever you sell items, but you don't have to discard it. Oh, speaking of selling items, so again, you can sell 1,000 gold gets you a level. This can just keep, you can keep selling it for 100 gold to get to add to your levels, essentially. So like you, it, it still only counts for 100 gold, so you'll still have to have 900 gold more, worth of items to sell with it. But that's pretty cool, a reusable item that does that. Bottle of honey. Using someone successfully runs away. Uh, oh, they, yeah, they got to reroll it. There you go. That's cool. Some more take that. Fish pudding. Boy, I, man, I don't like that either. <laughs> He's turning in combat plus two to either side. Not a, not a fan. <laughs> Open sauce. Uh, you're turning in uh, combat plus three to either side. Okay. Potion of gut busting effervescence. Oh my god. This looks like the scene from uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Uh, use during any combat plus three to either side. Or no, sorry, plus three to the Munchkin side. Ooh, that's cute. Pumpkin spice potion. Well, that's timely. Welcome to October. We got our pumpkin spice potion. Pumpkin spice is going with everything right now. Why not? Uh, starting equipment set. It's just the it's the clown shield. Used during any combat, plus two to either side. That's great. I, that might be one of my favorite cards, possibly ever. That does that is how it feels when you start a game. Generally, uh, ally, uh, a live stream. Oh, it's what we're doing. <laughs> it's a living stream. Used when running away from a monster. Whose uh, bad stuff includes death. Okay. You escape. Uh... Oh, cool. So you just escape. That's great. Auto escapes from uh, death-causing monsters. That's not bad at all. Critical roll. Uh, well, I guess I'll take this quick moment to note that we also, uh, with the op, announced critical roll munchkin. Uh, so that's really cool. Uh, but I think that might be something along the lines of what we're parodying here. Just a little bit. Unhinged Esoterica, uh, plus four to either side, so it's a nice, uh, nice buff. Unwell Water, Unwell, Unwell Water, Andrew, your your uh, your puns are gonna. The I think the worst part of when I read a card like this is when I read it and I'm, I don't get that joke until after I say it really weirdly, <laughs> like Unwell Water. Uh, emergency backup friend. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's cute. Loaded die. Oh, hey, that's a cool. That's actually a really cool look for the loaded die. Usually, the loaded die has kind of a a d6 look to it because that's the dice that we use for the game. Uh, but this got like a kind of a d20 or actually is that is it more like a d12? D12. A d12 bon le boom look to it. Uh, that's cool. I love it. New new art for the loaded die. Ooh, we got another one here. This is the D20. That's that's awesome. But it's like an opening up D20. That's awesome. I love it. Mercy Matt. Uh, use when another player has failed to run away. Oh, they the the that player succeeds. Okay, so you can kind of help people out. Uh, and now you may uh, draw two face up. Oh, wow, that's cool. Face down treasure cards. So you can essentially help someone else escape, but then you get treasure for it. That's really cool. Do a reloaded die. That's that's awesome. I love that we're using the actual RPG dice for this. That's really cool. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, oh my god. Again, Acquisition Inc. Well, if you don't know what we're parroting there... Uh, watch more live streams. A lot of great RPG live streams happening now. Uh, this is <laughs> this is one of them. Uh, boots of running ever faster. Plus three to one away. Uh, uh, but if you roll a one, you automatically fail and must discard this before uh, suffering the bad stuff. Wow. So it's really good unless you roll a one. Uh, ever on. Used during in combat, apply all monster bonuses and penalties uh, for this fight, regardless of whether they uh, apply. Okay, to the Munchkins. Interesting. Okay, 
I can see some situations where that's really good. Uh, po oh, it's a, po it's a potion. Sorry, I was looking at the art there. It looks uh, uh, vaguely illicit. <laughs> uh, disunity. Okay, that's why I couldn't read that word. Potion of disunity. Okay. Oh, wishing rings are back. Uh, again, most Munchkin sets got wishing rings in them. It's cool. They're like members of the party. Uh, knee pads of supplication. Oh gosh, it's the begging knee pads. I love it. Uh, cool. I dig that. Prismatic glitter. That's. Oh, oh man, glitter munchkin. User in any combat. Plus five to either side. Hey, there you go. That's a good bun. Oh, hirelings are back. Whoa, that's awesome. I haven't seen those guys in a little while. Hirelings, they can kind of hold your stuff. Body spray. <laughs> it's, I, the art's the pun this time. It's, it's got an axe. And it's body spray. <laughs> uh, burlap cloak, uh, which would be the most uncomfortable thing ever. Usable by warrior only, so that's a kind of a clue on, as to what we're going to be seeing in our classes and stuff. But we've got the uh, Berserker's Helm, and the helm itself is berserking. Bicorn hat. There are two pieces of corn. Wow, we did it. I love it. Oh, here's a cleric. So we got warrior and, cl or warrior and cleric, so I think we're going to have some classic roles here that work really well with munchkin, standard munchkin. Uh, we got turning keys. Uh, two rats on a stick? What are we doing? Oh, that's too strong. It's a plus one bonus. It's twice as good as, as nothing. There it is. I love it. Bringing it back. Bringing back the classics. Oh, man, I'm really looking forward to what's coming up in the doors. I wonder if we have any references to old Munchkin in the doors. So this is like a Munchkin set for Munchkin fans. If you really, I mean, you, obviously if you like RPGs, uh, there's some great stuff here too, but this has got some really cool references in it. Um, exaggerated sense of self-importance. <laughs> That's about right. Uh, padded sleeves. Uh, that looks like the kid from the, A Christmas Story when he can't put his arms down. It's like the same coat. Usable by Elf. Elves are back. Reforged sword. Yeah, it's just got tape all over it. Nice. Uh, beehive hairdo. It's just a beehive. It's just straight up Brandon is Finally. Brandon's gone Finally. behind the camera. Uh, belt of brilliance. It's like a like a cummerbund of diamonds. Usable by thief only. Thieves are back. Yep, it's looking like all the classics. Epier of pokery. I'm assuming that's a type of sword that I'm not aware of. I'm uh, I'm looking to Jim Epe. Is that it? Okay. That makes sense. Thank you. Handheld trebuchet. So it's a uh, small handheld catapult. Beautiful. A uh, meat shield. <laughs> Halfling only. Hey, it's food based. Halflings are back. I love it. I'm a big fan of the halflings. Uh, wizards. Ring of fire. Nice. Wombat boots. Usable only. Uh, orcs only. Nice. Orcs back. So yeah, that's all the classics. Beyblade. Beyblade. There's so many jokes here, and they're all bad, and I love it. <laughs> Let it rip. Oh my gosh. Usable by Thief Only. This is the Blade of Betrayal. Oh, that's cool. A thief who uses this uh, weapon doesn't... Okay. Cool. Oh, sorry, not doesn't. Sorry, doubles their backstab. I was like, doesn't their backstab reward? I didn't understand that. Oh, 12 foot pole. Another reference. There it is. It's Again, it's better than the 10 foot pole. And the 11 foot pole. Wield shield. I love that. How have we not used that one before? Plus one to run away. A lot of good runaway stuff in this. Dragon Bjorn. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> We cannot, this is all parody. We cannot get sued for it. Uh, usable by dwarf only. This is the hammer of finger nailing. Okay. Okay. 
motorcycle helmet. It is a motorcycle helmet. Wow. Yeah, we got a groan on that one. That's that's our groan counter. Put it at one <laughs> for Brandon. Uh, ooh, another halfling uh, uh, food weapon. Super Supreme Pizza. Plus three. Nice. This is an elf only. Tall, skinny armor. Well, that's just to the point. <laughs> that's... We got... <laughs> oh, I get it. Thongs without words. Wow. By the way, the word thong does mean sandal. That is, that's what we're looking at here. Velvet armor. It's an orc armor that is a velvet suit. I love that. That's super cool. Wizard. Old stinky robe. That's unfortunate. Poor guy. Multi-tool of murderation. This is like the knife that uh, Brandon gave me last time to open with. I can go murder things. Uh, pickle spear. Man, there's some good ones in this that I'm surprised we haven't used. That's awesome. That is crazy. Pickle spear? We didn't get there. We made, a, we made an entire set about uh, cooks, and we never used pickle spear. Dropping the ball. Plot armor. There it is. Protagonist. <laughs> the plot, protagonist's plot armor. Uh, dance with Xanadu. Oh, no. Oh, we got some go-up levels, though. That's cool. Get YOLO's autograph. Go up level. Kill the hireling. That's sad. No, don't do that. Why would you go up level for killing the hireling? Don't do that. Outsource game development. <laughs> oh, no. Max your min. Okay, min maxing. Steel level. That's a fun one. Uh, we got the staff of infection. Ugh. Usable by like clerics only. Okay. Yuck. Weed whacker of wanted wickedness. Of wanton wickedness. That's a dwarf only. Dragon lance. Hey, put in Munchkin Dragons. Add Munchkin Dragons, folks. The Munchkin brand. There it is, folks. That's my favorite card in the set. That's that is easily my favorite card in the set. It's the Munchkin. We have a we have a Munchkin card called the Munchkin brand, and it's got the trademark symbol on the word Munchkin. That's that is awesome. I we don't. We all have. We, I thought we all had to get the brand when we started working here. Is that not? Is, it, is that only me? Oh no. That sucks. My back is screwed up forever now. <laughs> Pay homage to a oh what a Titan's grave. Okay, sorry. Could for some reason some of these words I'm just like looking. I'm like I can't read that. And I can. It's eyes. That's cool. Rustle up some new players, and it's babies, children, and dogs, which uh, is pretty accurate if you've ever started an RPG campaign. Thwacko. That is just beating up a, a, a mimic. And use your special die. <laughs> 21. We got it. An ultra crit. So those are your treasures. I love those. The, you, the Munchkin brand is my favorite card, I think, in all of Munchkin history. That's incredible. Uh, but now my favorite thing is, honestly, in most games, is looking at the bad guys. And these are our door cards. That's where you're going to find all the monsters. So we'll take a, take a, a scan at these folks. Uh, let's see. Bear bug. Okay. He's got a plus four against orcs and some bad stuff there. And I think there should be an order. So I kind of, I tried to like build up to the, to the level 20. I want to see what the boss is of each set. Are they level 18, 19, or 20? It depends on the set. Oh no. Gamer gators. Level one. Plus four against warriors. Takes double damage from the flame attack. Nice. Imaginary Fenord, which I think just means both of those words don't exist, because if Fenord doesn't exist and it's imaginary, Fraund. is oh Frond, I'm an idiot. I'm so used to seeing the word Fenord because we use it for everything. <laughs> imaginary Frond, that's even better. Pretend I didn't say Fenord. I guess it's not. It's easy to pretend that because Fenord. 
Uh, let's see. Spider Snake. Oh, that is that is grotesque. That's only a level one? Minus one to run away. Okay. Plump. What the heck is a plump? That's horrible. Plus four against thieves. Okay. Gross. Is it really? The flunk. Okay, okay. The, I, I, I'm going to reference with Jimmy and, and Brandon on some of the really OG monsters, because it looks like we're going really deep in the tank. That's awesome. Well, that's really cool, though, because we original Munchkin was kind of about the contemporary dungeon, like Dungeons & Dragons RPG stuff. So we can really go deep, take a deep dive on this stuff, especially since there's so much old-school RPG stuff going on. Uh, Displaced Priest, plus four against uh, Clerics, minus one uh, to run away. Uh, that's cool. That actually reminds me of our fantasy trip campaign where we had time displacement as a big thing <laughs> as part of the as part of the campaign. Napoleon Bony Parts. I think I think we may have a leader in the clubhouse for Hunter's favorite monster right now. Uh, so I, I'm also I'm a very big fan of of the White Brothers and Mr. Bones. Those are two my like two favorites along with the Netral. Those are like my three favorite monsters. So Napoleon Bony Parts. Leader in the clubhouse. Uh, Orpheus. Okay. That's cool. He was, he's kind of the undead thing, too. I like that. And they're, they're both undead, which is cool if you like uh, the undead stuff with zombies and whatnot. It's a great way to mix those in. Cool. It's another level four. Pot, Potiug? Am I am I reading that right? Pot, Potiug? Potiug? That's got to be a reference that of an old monster. Pot, okay. Okay. Jimmy's got me. Pot Potiug. Plus four against wizards. Cool. Cool. Big boy. <laughs> Why is that so funny? <laughs> big boy. Why is that so funny to me? It's just called big boy. Big boy gets plus two for each hand item uh, being used by the munchkins in the fight. Why is that so funny to me? It's just called big boy. See, Jimmy's my reference guy. Big B is the wizard with the hand spells. Okay. So, I, I, again, I'm not as good with, with actual RPG stuff. I'm good with M Munchkin references. Jimmy's got me on the RPG references. Uh, Grim Beetle. Okay. Uh, items work less or, or worth less than 300 gold. Pieces have no effect. Okay, that's a cool mechanic. I like that. Lumber Hulk. Okay, I know that one. But... Uh, I actually really prefer this. This is hilarious. <laughs> I love that. The Crow King. Uh, it's a level 12. All other monsters in the combat uh, with him count as undead. Oh, that's cool. That'd be a fun one to add to your, uh, with some undead stuff. We already, we've already seen some undead uh, synergy stuff here. Uh, with the Fit Fiend. That's cute. That needs to be me in about a week. We're getting into the holiday season, and I need to start losing weight, <laughs> or I'm going to gain a bunch over the over Christmas. Unidrow. Okay, okay, I got it. It took me a second. I was just like, oh no, I, was, I didn't want to say that wrong. <laughs> Minus three against elves, but plus four against thieves. Okay, cool. Glampire. That's that's really cool art. That's really that's that's really cute. I like that. Minus three against dorks. That's a level fourteen. Now we're getting to really big ones. The glitch. Oh my god, it's a rad lich. That's okay. We might be close to my favorite. This one and Napoleon Bony parts are really good. This could be an avatar. I like that one a lot. The glitch. That's so cool. Oh, we got another undead here. Dorcas. Level eighteen. Will not uh, pursue level four below. That's a bad stuff. You're dead. You're just straight up dead. Except clerics. Okay, sorry. It looks like pursues. <sighs> can I say this on the stream? <laughs> I guess we can. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's true. Jack ask. Is that Q? Ask you? Jack ask you. Jack ask you. Sure. Will not pursue level 4 below. All others have minus 2 to run away. Minus 3 against clerics and halflings. Minus 6 against both. Wow. Okay, Jimmy, thank you. I don't know that, I don't know how to, like, they don't automatically connect in my head. 
but that's a level 18, but it has a lot of ways to be a negative, so that's good. Uh, oh, we found our we found our boss monster, level twenty. America, okay, Americium dragon. Am I say Amer Americium? What's that a reference to, Jimmy? There, Jimmy's Jimmy's lost. Uh, immune to fire flame. Oh wow, no fire and flame. It can detect smoke. Oh, well that makes sense. We'll not pursue the little fire blow. Uh, of course, it's a UR dead, so it's level 20. It's just going to be a tough one. Americium Dragon. Interesting. I love the art. That is such a cool... I love. I like dragons with, like, manes and stuff. That's really cool. Cheat. We've got our classic cheat card. Should have a couple of those, at least. You'll see some of the references to the weapons earlier, like the reforged sword with all the tape and the supreme pizza that the, uh, the halfling is. But again, these the reforged sword is, a, is an elf-only weapon, so an orc holding it is cheating. Uh, elf using the supreme pizza, that was a halfling-only weapon. Ooh, and some of our curses, the Acid Pit. And you lose two levels if you're an elf. So it's lose level or two if you're an elf. That's brutal. Airmail. If you aren't wearing armor, lose level. Okay. There you go. Curse. Apply encumbrance. Oh, no. Apply encumbrance rules. That's mean. I've played enough Skyrim to know that that sucks. Yeah, exactly. No one, no one uses it. Exactly. No one uses encumbrance rules. But then you have the one DM that's like, also encumbrance rules are happening, and you can't move. <laughs> you don't exactly. You don't. You don't use. It's like I'm not using encumbrance rules, and I've done that before. I've been that guy where it's like we're not using encumbrance rules, and then I'm like, oh, so how much is a rowboat? I want to drag a rowboat, and I dragged a rowboat the whole campaign. <laughs> Uh, a big that one affected big weapons. Uh, bad time for a bio break. Nice. Blood donation. Lose a level. Buzz out. Lose the headgear you're wearing. Okay. Oh, that's got the that's the reference to the guy that had the the beehive hat. That's funny. Uh, cold feet. Straight up cold feet. Convert from 4th edition. Oh, no. <laughs> Just a pile of burning books. <laughs> Crispy chicken feet. Oh, no. That's disgusting. <laughs> no. Forgot your re realm. That's me every game. I'd be just this curse permanently. What god do you worship? I don't know. <laughs> what realm of magic are you and I have no idea? Yes. Forgot your realm. Forgot our realm. <laughs> I like it. Mallard of Misfortune. Oh no. You don't pick up a duck in a dungeon, I guess you don't pick up a mallard in a mission. <laughs> oh, the humanity. Discard any Oh, that's that's funny. Discard any races that you've play, uh, you haven't played and become a human. That's funny. It's like the reverse Shrek potion. Uh, let's see. Reduce equim... Equ oh, sorry. We're going to reduce equipment list. Again, I, 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 for some reason when it comes to eyes, I just like lose the eye in there. Okay. Lose lose a small item. Hunter's trying to invent new words. Yeah, right. Stale snacks. Again, not everything's in-game. Some of this stuff is referencing the metagame of playing RPGs. So, of course, stale snacks. Obviously. The floor is lava. Lose the foot gear you're wearing. Makes sense. Curse. Twitchy. You must immediately run away from a mo next monster you face. Oh, that's mean. That's pretty cool, though. The half-breed cards, which lets you be multiple uh, groups of people. So, that's cool. House rules. So that's cool. Play immediately after an opponent plays a card you don't like. <laughs> you don't like? <laughs> okay. That card's effect is canceled. Okay. That's that's cute. Neat. Okay, so it's just a cancel effect. I just like the way they phrase that. Remove a card that you don't like. Life partner, oh that's adorable. Super munchkins, obviously. Classic card. 
Got a bunch of uh, multi-classers there doing stuff. Ooh, truly legendary curse. Lose your best item. That's brutal. Ooh, the Wandering Monsters. Classic. They're coming in on rainbows. They're on the ceiling. That is that is horrifying. Oh, more Wandering Monsters. Gotta have a lot of them. Oh, here's the big here's the big ones. These are the end game. Someone's about to win. Time to play some big monster cards. <laughs> Plus 10 to monsters. Uh, it is it is greater, so you can make it a greater monster. Inspired, plus 10 to monster. Supernatural, or wait, sorry, no. Uh, super annuated, what? Super annuated, okay. Interesting. I don't. I didn't know that word before I started reading this. <laughs> Thought it said supernatural. Advantaged. That's cool. That makes sense. If you have a... Oh, that's... And that's cute. Plus 1d6 to monsters, so it's a random bonus. Ooh, disadvantaged. Minus 1d6 to monsters. Okay. That's awesome. An am that's, a, that's a direct reference and a direct mechanic. <laughs> uh, undead. Classic. Gotta have your undead cards. Oh, and here's our classes. Oh my god. That is an orc in a sailor scout costume. That's a cleric. I guess Sailor Scouts are technically clerics, right? Cleric. More cleric. Got some thief. Thief and thief. Warrior. And these are the same effects, I, I believe, as, yeah, backstabbing and all that. These are the same effects that they are in, in the original Lunchkin, so if you mix them together, you can use the same classes, just has different art on them. It's pretty cool. Warrior, warrior, and warrior. Wizard. Wizard, and of course wizard, and now we got the the uh, races here: dwarf, dwarf, and dwarf. Elf with a uh, pink rabbit. That's cute. Elf and elf. Halfling, my favorite. Halfling's my favorite. Gotta say it. Halfling and halfling. Then we got orcs. I like that it has orcs doing different stuff than the normal orc stuff. That's really cool. Like wizard orcs and stuff. Oh no, we got some more monsters. Anonymous consul, uh, consult, uh, consultant. There we go. Almost said consultation. That's a level one. Oh, here's our level low level guys. We just beards of prey. Oh my gosh. Level two gray hawk. It's a hawk and a gray. Okay, I get it. Guinea pig. That's. More horrifying than I expected it to be. Lemon slime. <laughs> That's cute. Thiefling. It's not a... It's not a thiefling, it's a thiefling. Level 6. Uh, deri oh, derider. Oh my gosh. Plus 4 against elves. That's got multiple references in it. Whoa, gummy cube. We got the, gel the gelatinous cube. It's the gummy cube. Man, someone needs to make gummy cube candy. That sounds awesome. Yeah. Make gummies with that. That's that's perfect. Level 6. Ooh, we got an undead. Heck of a. Oh, I get it. Okay. I was like trying to, again, I was trying to read. I was like, Hakuv? Hekuv, heck of a. That's cute. Heck of a. Oh, yeah. Level 8. Awful green thing. Not awful green things, but hey, another another uh, SJ Games reference. That's cool. Awful green things. 3,873 orcs. Okay, we're just one up in Munchkin right now. That's all. That's the goal, huh? Whoa, the dire gazebo. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Level 10. No one can help you. There you go. Of course you got. You got to face the gazebo alone. Power creep. <laughs> That'd be great. We should start decorating the gazebo again. I'd love to do that. Power creep. That's a cool one. We know what that feels like. That was level 10. Level 14. Indescribably awful, unspeakable horror. Plus four against warriors. Bad stuff. What is the I, The bad stuff is so long on this. Indescribably horrible death for wizards. Everyone else just loses their powers. Okay. I like how the art doesn't even show the monster. Uh, Sorcerers of the Shoreline. Okay. 
They're like beach going wizards. Okay. Those. Oh my god. They're sorcerers on the shore of the shore. Oh my god. I when you're reading the cards, you can't get the jokes immediately. I'm sorry, guys. That's a really. I'm I'm keeping that card. That's that's mine. Uh. Brain Flayer? Okay. Oh my god. Yeah. They're gonna, this this squid's gonna take you to Flavor Town. Ah, this is the one that we've been seeing referenced it's on the cover, the eavesdropper. Of course, that's what it's called. It's got a ton of ears. <laughs> there it is. Oh my, that's awesome. So that, folks, is Munchkins and Mazes. That's awesome. Oh man. So yeah, uh, Munchkins and Mazes. This will be on pre-order really shortly. I believe it'll be up next week for pre-order. Uh, again, you've seen you've seen all the cards. You kind of know what it's going for. If you like the original Munchkin, this is going to be a perfect set for you. If you want to mix it in there with some of the, those original cards, it'll pretty much be seamless. It's got all the same races, all the same classes. Uh, similar kind of tone, because the original Munchkin, again, was referencing a lot of the old RPG stuff, and even current RPG stuff. And this is kind of doing the same thing, except it's also referencing Munchkin itself. And then it's also referencing like RPG culture. So that's really cool. I think it's, I think the, this, this and original Munchkin are going to be like seamless companions. Uh, and especially like references, you could play the, uh, 3,782 orcs. And then the next person can have to fight against the, the plus one on that. So that's really cute. Uh, I see your orcs. I see your one rat on a stick and raise it two rats on a stick. Uh, but yeah, this will be out really soon. 24 95. You can get this at your local game store and as well on warehouse 23, I wanted to mention we have a big sale going on for Halloween on Warehouse23.com right now. Uh, you can find a lot of discounts on Halloween-themed stuff like zombie dice. Uh, and our Chibi Thus are like 75% off now. So if you like our Chibi Thulu plushes, you can get the Halloween one or I think any of the other ones as well. That are, they're really uh, cheap right now. Uh, and of course we have free shipping and orders of I believe $150 or more on there uh, as always. Uh, you can also want to check out our uh, streams coming up. We're going to be doing some Halloween-themed stuff. We'll have more details about that really soon. Uh, next week, I won't be here, but we're going to... Oops, sorry, I can't hit my mic there. Uh, I won't be here, but uh, we'll have uh, we'll have someone uh, hosting as well. well. We'll let you know about what we're going to be doing then. We've got some war unboxings on the way. We've got some Halloween goodies stuff on the way. Uh, stay tuned for all that. We've got a lot of, a lot of new stuff that's coming out. We're really excited about it. If you didn't, if you missed out again on Fornorcon, check out some of those announcements coming soon. We've got stuff like Hack and Slash on the way. Uh, we'll have more details as that gets closer. We'll be unboxing that, of course. Uh, something Munchkin, something fishy is coming out as well, uh, which we haven't done an unbox on that, but we probably will be doing that really soon. The Op announced Critical Role Munchkin, Disney Munchkin. We'll have an unboxing for that as well. We have lots of stuff coming on the way, so stay tuned to more SJ Games Live. But for now, I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll see you later.